Hi everyone, thanks so much for clicking on my video today. I am so excited to announce that I am going to start a new series on my channel where I will be showing you how I convert our house into a home. We have slowly been taking our time and redoing each room in the house. But I wanted to start the series off with the outside porch. This porch, as you can see, needs a lot of love and I have done nothing to it since we bought this house. In today's video, I am going to clean off this porch, remove all of the things that you see here. I'm going to power wash the concrete, paint it, and then redecorate with plants, new furniture, and decor that I found at various stores. I am really excited about this new series and I hope that you are too. If you are new to my channel and have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads from this new series. So when you hit the notification button, make sure you hit all so that you get every video and make sure you give it a thumbs up so that I can continue to do this type of content. I hope you all enjoy it. I just want to say that after three years of being on this porch, there was so much dirt and grime that built up over time. It took me so long to power wash this porch. I know it seems like I went through it fast, but that's just because I sped it up. But you guys, this took a very long time to power wash and to get all the dirt and grime that was on this porch from over the years. I do recommend power washing if you're going to paint a porch, but just know that it will take a lot of time.
So I wanted to speak on the paint that I'm using for the porch. I got it from Home Depot. It's from Bear and it's part of their outside patio and porch um, line. So this one is the porch and concrete line in a gray color. You don't have to put any primer on with this paint and you also don't have to put on a top coat once it's dried. So far I've had this porch painted for um, a good month now and there's no scratches on there. The paint's holding up very well against the water. All I have to do is sweep it off or um, clean it if there's like um, any type of like dirt or footprints on it. But for the most part, the paint is doing really well. I do want to mention that I did do two coats of paint when doing this front porch to make sure that I covered up all of the markings that I was unable to get up. It only took one gallon to do the whole porch so I don't think you would need more than one gallon because I even had paint left over. So um, two coats is suggested and it would definitely give you good coverage and it will not like I said mark up.
now Sunday and I thought that I could go ahead and finish up uh, the porch but it started raining again like it did Friday so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and finish up the porch get it at least decorated and all the decor the stuff that I have to do in the yard I'll have to do that later um, when the rain has stopped but I can at least get the porch done because I really want to be done with this it should not have taken this long um, since it rained all day Saturday I didn't even do it I just hung with the family um, so I'm gonna try to get this done and hopefully get at least the porch decorated and then I can worry about the yard later Okay, everyone, the front porch is done. It took me a little bit longer than I planned, but that was because of some of the rain that happened and because I made my sign, but it's done and I am ready to show you the reveal. So let's go ahead and take a look 
at the before of how the porch looked in the beginning. Thank you.